This is a new thing. That bloody thing just switched itself on. Thank you so much. I was just about to switch it on. <laughs> and now we're in the sign of Leo. Yeah. So no, because we're recording 12 videos in a day and and it flies so quickly. I we did Gemini and then we did we did Cancer, right? So we did all this and Taurus, yeah. So this is the fifth time we're recording this, hence the fifth sign. Anyway, don't mind me, I'm just uh, uh, blubbling on, you know. Because it is like, you know, there's a person here or a spirit here that, that switches on the camera. Thank you very much. Anyway, why don't you switch on the bloody coffee machine? Anyway, <laughs> this is, uh, this, you're watching Thomas' Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Yannick. This is your August 2023 general reading for the sign of Leo. General readings mean that not everything might fully resonate with you. You take what is for you, leave the rest for someone else. Um, because... Um, the energy is that whoever needs to hear the messages will find the reading, if that makes sense. But there's also another truth. If nobody bloody subscribes, the algorithm can never find me. Right? Well, come on, like, subscribe and share. Right? <laughs> so what we do here is we look at the overall energy uh, for the month of August 2023 before we then look, look at your emotional core. Emotional core is about whether or not there's healing that needs to happen for your sign or whether or not there's love coming in or, where, or, or whether or not love needs to be tweaked if that makes sense which reminds me because we're in a, in a time where we have four super moons i was directed by my guides to record love life readings bloody hell i normally do this if i'm asked pestered is the word by others i sometimes do them around um valentine's day never occurs to me to do love life readings for each sign um but i've done one for august and it is time stamped so since I was just talking about your emotional core, there's also a love life reading that goes again a bit deeper, gives you a bit of extra information. It's on that very channel. Please like, subscribe and share and watch the bloody things I record. That's not too much to ask. <laughs> and then lastly, we will look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of August 2023 for the sign of Leo. Now, Leo, remember that we're only moving into Virgo on the 23rd of August. So we are in your sign. You are where you need to be. This is your month. This is where you are already the strongest you can possibly be. So anything you hear here, you hear here, <laughs> um, is actually amplified simply because we're in your months, if that makes sense, right? Really, really important. So uh, before we do any of this, let me introduce you to uh, this month's guest. This is my friend Claire. Hello. She runs the Knotted Tree Holistic Therapy Center in Telford, because I can't pronounce it, I put it in writing in the description box, so you can contact her there. There's a link to her Facebook page. The Knotted Tree Holistic Therapy Center in Telford. What I have problems with, always have problems with, is, is, is TH. Cannot pronounce it. You know how stupid they teach it to us in Germany? If you can't say TH, say S, which is why Germans walk around. Sis is very nice. Bollocks, right? Anyway, so we're not being taught right. Okay, so but I always have problems with, with the right? therapy center. Yeah. So in any case, let's do this. Let's look at the overall energy for the month of August 2023 for the sign of Leo. You are watching Thomas Hour readings with myself, uh, Thomas Yannick, and my, my guest and friend Claire Corbett. This is the overall energy for the month of August. Okay, so for our Leos out there, if you've got or stuck in some type of situation at the moment, you're kind of stuck, don't know where to go with it, or it's just consuming you, um, it's saying see beyond the situation, okay? So uh, considering it's your month for a boost and you, you can stand in your power, see beyond it, you know, go above, you know, see it from an eagle's point of view, you know, um, a different perception, um, and be the light in that situation. So instead of um, being in the, the victim or the um, the dark side of that situation or the, you know, whoa, that side of things. That's what I'm being drawn to. I feel like, mwah. Um, it's trying to find the light within that. Look for the more positive side to it. Um, and as soon as you start seeing a little bit more light there and bringing that light in, everything will come. It will come to you. And it's about truth. This month is about being true to you. True to what it is that you're needing to do the you're needing to stand in to you know that truth of your higher self yeah all about truth being the light so you can overcome the situations that are happening right now for you 
Thank you so much. And remember, astrologically speaking, you are the light. Leo is the only sign that is governed by the sun. Mm -hmm. Now, the issue that you're having this month, it might not be an issue, but it oftentimes is, because the sun and the moon do not share space very well. The sun is the ruler of the day, the moon is the ruler of the night. When they actually overlap, energetically speaking, they change the fabric of the cosmos. And where they overlap, what will happen then here on Earth, it actually brings in eclipses and it brings in weird weather. So we know that they're not sharing space well. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because you're Leo, you're governed by the Sun, and you're having two supermoons in August. Supermoons are when, this, when the Moon is the closest to Earth. Therefore, our emotions are super highlighted. Since you are the opposite of that, doesn't mean you're not emotional, but, the, but you are the opposite of this, you will be super affected by the energies of these supermoons based on the fact that you by default, sometimes at least, for the most part it's, it's, it's a Leo trait, you are quite sensitive, quite deep, and sometimes you don't stay with, how, with what you're feeling and find something else to do because the sun is also the drive that gives you your zest for life and can be the ego which walks away from stuff instead of exploring it. All of this is very strong because of the two supermoons um, in the month of August. So it is a good thing in a way that we are in your sign mm -hmm. but you also need that strength to be in your sign because it just so happens that these two supermoons happen in that month that you are in your strengths and the second super moon which is the a blue moon the second moon of a month if it, if it actually happens is called a blue moon blue moon <laughs> is even stronger than the first one so it is quite a month where where you will where we all will be hit emotionally and you are the sun that sometimes doesn't want to look at the moon, if that makes sense. So, loads of stuff here. Um, let's have a look if this is also, um, if this also comes through and through in uh, your emotional core. So, I have different decks here. I have a galaxy ball and um, I used to do readings without any of these things. Um, I lived with the Irish. Hello there. Uh, <laughs> and um, in order for me to get my I have to look at people and then the Irish was like, Stop staring at me, mister. So I asked the guides for cards and um, tools, which are awesome. But I was just told to uh, fuck that. Uh, you don't need any of this. We will talk to you. So I will just been, I've just been given what to say to you rather than um, looking at these tools. It's just it's all the same. It's just surprises me because normally I work with these tools. In any case, what you are being asked is to look at your dreams. And, and, and anything, if you can't remember your dream, which is quite, dreams is quite normal because we are, we're going into, into different wavelengths when we're dreaming, so our memories are not really that easily accessible. The point is, the guides are trying to reach you in your dreams to give you guidance from within with regards to how you look at your life emotionally. And, and because of the dream energy here, you will also need to, or to, because you have free will, so need to is always a strong word, mm -hmm. uh, but you also ought to look at any past pain, anything that has happened to you already that makes you feel a little bit diminished in your capacity to enjoy or manifest relationships, but it will come to you in dreams. If you are a person that cannot recall dreams, welcome to the club, the next step would be to go on meditations and on journeys. And that you can do and learn. Um, but it would be awesome and super important to either keep this up if you're redoing it or start doing it this month because that is how you access your guides who are desperately trying to talk to you. In my experience, when animal guides or any other guide for that matter are visiting you in your dreams, um, that's because you're quite busy at other times. So they can't even reach you. So actually pay attention to how busy are you, right? Um, but the good thing is, because you are in your strengths and the supermoon energy will actually aid you because there's so much emotions around you, should you be in a relationship, this is the month 
where you will also feel the love that is in that relationship the strongest. And should you then feel like, oh, it's a bit off, at least you have the option to highlight this and talk about it. But remember, your depiction is a male lion. Male lion walks, walks his parameter, right? People say it's, I don't find that, you know, yeah, they're not it's, right? So walks his parameter. So you need a bit of me time as well in your entire life. That's just another uh, lion Leo trait. Um, so should you be in a relationship, don't be the needy part, <laughs> right? It doesn't work for you to be there 24 seven, no matter how nice your partner is. It is in your energy to needing a bit of space. So again, which also makes you a very reflective person. And so reflect on, on where you want your relationship to go and what you want to manifest. Again, quite a lot that they told me here, or so to say to you without using any of the tools here. Thanks guys. <laughs> so that said, uh, I have another thing here on the table. Um, I just put stuff on the table when I, when I prepare the space. And then I have this dream, this, this, this stone that says dream big. I'm gonna, which I just, for whatever reason, put here, and now it comes up for you. Because they are, they're visiting you in your dreams, dream big. Another important thing, this is not the months for you to be super hmm, humble, right? There's nothing wrong with being humble, Leo, but it doesn't work for you. So, so you have to be in your full life, and, and whatever it is you want to experience in relationships, or want to manifest, and whatever needs to be changed, Hmm. It feels a bit weird saying that, but um, say it lively. You can use tongue in cheek, but it is better to express yourself than not express yourself when it comes to your love life. Ah, <sighs> that was exhausting. <laughs> That's all that part has got for you. Now, lastly, uh, we will look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of August 2023 for the fifth sign Leo. Okay, so um, again, it's quite matching uh, for uh, your relationship side of things. But what he's saying here is, I feel there's you're on the go, on the go, on the go. And you need to bring more balance into your life, um, uh, and bringing that balance in will help you to uh, move forward with the miracles and the magic that is within you. So for you to move forward in that sense. Um, so I feel that you have to be brave and honest with yourself um, of where you're at so as you can take that step back in the things that need to be um, taken a step back in to allow that balance to come in. So very much working your root um, chakras, so very much um, grounding, you know, connect with nature, you know, things like that. I feel that's what Leos are needing for this month to ground, to reconnect, to balance out so as that they can start moving forward in um, every avenue. Thank you so much. And remember, the root chakra is the color red. Red is associated with Mars. Mars is associated with the sun. Leo is governed by the sun. So being grounded is the most important thing for a fire sign, which is what you are anyway. Hence, the lion needs space. So it's all connected. There's, there's no coincidence anywhere. This is all connected. Um, but it is important to, to understand that, that from a grounded point of view, you will have way more strength to actually assess situations, if that makes sense, right? Leos, that's all we got time for. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. You are watching Thomas' Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Yannick, and my guest Claire this month. Thank you so much for being here. I really enjoy this because sometimes I have all these monologues for you. And then I watch back and when I edit it's like, no, just stop talking, Thomas, right? <laughs> so it's nice to have someone else here. Um, so yeah, if you like uh, the content, please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Come on, it's just a fiver. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get, I actually get £4.34. <laughs> which is quite interesting right so it's all good you, you know we're supporting that company and you support my work and you can buy up to three coffees hint hint <laughs> anyway thank you so much see you all next month Bye bye, bye.